Hi, welcome back to our series of lessons on trigonometry. I hope you are ready to continue exploring trigonometry with me, Renault. Today we are going to use trigonometry to help Natasha. Let me tell you about the situation. Natasha's granny is elderly and does not walk very well. Natasha wants to take her granny shopping and luckily there are escalators at the shopping center so gran will not have to climb any stairs. Now, there is a slight problem. Gran is also afraid of heights so we should first work out how long the escalator is. The base of the escalator is 4,3 meters long. The escalator climbs up at an angle of 50 degrees. If we are going to use trig to solve this, then we need a right angled triangle. Can you think where the right angle is? I am going to drop a perpendicular from the top of the escalator to the bottom at ground level. So now we need to label the triangle. E is the top of the escalator, S is the point on the perpendicular and C is the base of the escalator. We need to find the length of the escalator, EC. So on our diagram, it is this diagonal as shown. Now to work with a ratio, we need to name this side in terms of the known angle 50 degrees. Is this side, EC, adjacent to or opposite the angle? I hope you saw that it is neither the adjacent nor the opposite. EC is the hypotenuse because it is the side opposite the right angle. We know the length of SC, 4,3 meters. Is this side SC opposite or adjacent to the 50 degree angle. It is next to the angle, so it is the adjacent side. We need to determine the length of EC, the hypotenuse, and we know the length of the adjacent side. So, shall we use the tan ratio or the sine ratio? Remember the definitions. Tan of an angle is equal to opposite divided by adjacent and sine of an angle is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Can we use these ratios to answer this question? Mm, nope. Neither of these ratios uses adjacent and hypotenuse. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate length using the cosine or cos ratio, use the cos button on your calculator, and define the ratios tan theta, cos theta, and sine theta. Mathematicians defined the following. Cos of an angle is equal to the adjacent 
divided by the hypotenuse. Back to our example. The hypotenuse EC is unknown. When we divide the adjacent by the hypotenuse, we have cos 50 degrees. So, 4, 3 divided by EC is equal to cos 50 degrees. Look at this equation. It is slightly different to the equations we used previously. The side we are solving for is in the denominator. How will we solve this? Hmm. Algebra to the rescue. Multiply both sides by EC. So we get 4 comma 3 is equal to cos 50 degrees times EC. To solve for EC, how do we get it alone? Divide both sides by cos 50 degrees. Remember that we mustn't separate the ratio cos from the 50 degrees. So EC will be equal to 4 comma 3 divided by cos 50 degrees. By now, you should know the order in which to press the buttons on your calculator. This time around, however, the only difference is that you are going to press the cos button. So for example, on the Dell calculator, you are going to press 4 comma 3 divided by cos 50 and then equals. Otherwise, you press 4 comma 3 divided by 50 cos. Don't forget to press equals. Both calculators should give an answer of 6 comma 7 to 1 decimal place. Therefore, EC is equal to 6 comma 7 meters. The length of the escalator is 6 comma 7 meters. I wonder what Natasha's granny will think about this. Now, let us work out how high the escalator is. This time, we want to work out the length of ES. How can we do this? Can you think of a method? Can you think of two methods? Analyze what we have on the diagram. We have the lengths of two sides and want to find out the length of the third side. So firstly, we can use the theorem of Pythagoras. The hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So on this diagram, EC squared is equal to ES squared plus SC squared. So let's fill in our values. EC squared, we get 6 comma 7 squared is equal to ES squared plus SC, which is 4 comma 3 squared. Now, use your calculator to see if you agree with these values. 6 comma 7 squared equals 44 comma 8 9 is equal to ES squared plus and 4 comma 3 squared equals 18 comma 4 9. Subtract 18 comma 4 9 from both sides. So 44 comma 8 9 subtract 18 comma 4 9 is equal to E S squared. So E S squared is equal to 26 comma 4. 
What function do you now use to solve for ES? You need to find the square root of the number. Remember to press the buttons on your calculator in the right order. Now, the square root of 26,4 is 5,1. So round it off to one decimal place, ES is equal to 5,1 meters high. That means that in real life, the top of the escalator is more than 5 meters above the base. I don't think Natasha should tell her gran. So that was the first method. Did you think of a second method to find the length of ES? We have EC, the hypotenuse, and SC, the adjacent side. We want to calculate the length of ES. ES is opposite the given angle 50 degrees. Which trig ratio have we used that includes the opposite and adjacent sides? Well done if you spotted that it's tan. Now, opposite divided by adjacent is equal to tan 50 degrees. So ES divided by 4 comma 3 is equal to tan 50 degrees. And then ES is equal to tan 50 degrees times 4 comma 3. Using a calculator I find that ES is equal to 5 comma 1 meters. Are you becoming an expert at using your calculator? Did you get 5 comma 1 meters? I hope so. Now, this is the same answer that we got when we used the theorem of Pythagoras. Now, it is your turn to see if you can answer a question by yourself. Draw the diagram and write down the following information. Kim leans against a lamppost while she waits for a taxi to arrive. This length is 2,3 meters. The angle is 73 degrees. Work out the length of D, the light beam. Whew. We have learned three trig ratios, tan theta, sine theta, and cos theta. I need you to go and summarize and learn these ratios and practice, practice, practice. Try to think of a clever way to help you learn these trig ratios. Until next time, we say goodbye to Kim and I say goodbye to you.